The water crisis in Flint, Michigan will arguably be remembered as one of the most important stories of 2016. Officials say as many as 12,000 children in the city may experience a range of serious health problems after being exposed to drinking water with high levels of lead. The far bigger problem is that thousands of U.S. neighborhoods reportedly have higher lead poisoning levels than Flint. For more details, we cross live to RT's Marina Portnaya. Uh, Marina, this is all coming from a Reuters report. They examined lead results testing uh, results across the United States and basically found that Flint, Michigan isn't even the worst of it. Uh, what kind of chronic problem are we talking about here? Well, Anya, we're talking about a significant problem that demands much more attention than it's getting. A Reuters investigation found nearly 3,000 U.S. areas with lead poisoning rates at least two times higher than the levels found in Flint, Mich Michigan. According to Reuters, more than 1,100 U.S. communities examined had a rate of elevated blood tests at least four times higher than Flint. The U.S. neighborhoods with poisonous lead levels stretch from coast to coast. Neighborhoods in Pennsylvania, Texas, Ohio, Ohio and Maryland are burdened by some of the highest test levels of lead poisonings. Like uh, Flint, Michigan, the most toxic areas are plagued by what's called legacy lead, crumbling paint, plumbing, or industrial waste that's been left behind from decades ago. And how exactly did Reuters discover this toxic truth about lead poisoning in America? Well, Reuters examined neighborhood level blood testing results obtained from state health departments and the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. The data tracks poisoning rates among children tested in each neighborhood in all 50 states. So the local analysis uh, allows for pinpointing neighborhoods whose lead poisoning problems may be obscured in, in broader surveys. So, for example, across Maryland, 2% of childhood lead tests were high in recent years. But in some areas, Areas of Baltimore, the rates of lead poisoning reach an astounding 40 percent, according to Reuters. Wow. And since the 1970s, though, the U.S. has at least been making efforts to eradicate child lead poisoning. Have any advances been made? Well, there has been a significant drop in U.S. lead poisoning rates since the 70s when heavy metals were phased out of paints and gasoline, but the advances have been uneven. Poor communities are still living with crumbling old paint, corrosive plumbing, and infrastructure, and that keeps a specific U.S. demographic at a disproportional high risk of lead poisoning. It would reportedly cost tens of billions of dollars to clean up all, uh, all of the lead in America. Right now, there's barely enough money in the federal budget for lead tax. Testing. Unlike Flint, thousands of American communities have received little or no funding to combat the toxicity. According to reports, more than half a million U.S. children uh, have tested for uh, level, lead poisoning, and they are at or above the warning levels set by the CDC. And remind our viewers what kind of effect lead has on human health, particularly, we know, on young children whose brains are still developing. That's right. Well, lead is toxic. While some metals can be beneficial in small amounts, the only thing lead does to, a hum to human health is harm it. Experts say lead is particularly dangerous to young children because it can permanently damage developing brains. Lead poisoning in children has been linked to lower IQs, inability to pay attention, problems with impulse control, among many other things. Now, many in the medical community say they hope this data revealed by Reuters ignites public outrage and, f and forces elected officials to make changes or at the very least seek uh, lead abatement grants uh, in, in, in the most toxic spots of the United States. But w we know how tragic the, the story in Flint, Michigan has been for the past uh, two years. But, but now we're finding out that these tragedies are, are occurring in, in other hot spots throughout the United States. Hot spots that seem to have a common thread, Marina, they're, they're poor. And, and that's what's so interesting about this is that it's affecting a very specific group of people. So thanks, RT correspondent Marina Portanaya, for bringing us that story. Thanks, Anya.